this video I'm going to be looking at another advanced control another um, advanced control that has been provided by the visual web developer for us to um, do things very easy which is the hard rotator control the hard rotator control is used to display advertisement on your website um, you know for example I'm sure that you've seen banner advertisement on a lot of uh, websites on the internet so uh, if you want to create a website and had a uh, banner advertisement and the reason why it's very good is because you can have s about three or four banner advertisements which rotates uh, different times you know when you open your page the first time you see a different banner advertisement to s uh, when you open it the second time so um, I've, uh, let, let's drag the uh, hard rotator control onto the web page onto the web form and uh, you can see the um, the properties of the this the property the first one is the XML file containing the advertisement you have to create an XML there are two ways for you to um, link your XML uh, address it or to uh, a data source you can use a database or an XML file so you can use an alternate alternate text which will show you the alternate text in case the banner is not displaying so um, I'm going to use an uh, XML file here which I've um, taken the liberty I'm sorry I've actually created the XML file just the bare bone of what is going to look like I've not filled it, any data into it so what we're gonna do now is uh, in case you don't know how to add an XML file to your web project just click on add new item and select an XML file here and name the XML file whichever name that you want to give it so I've actually created an XML file myself and I've named it hardvat.xml so you want to uh, create this uh, XML tags which is the advertisement they had and then all this one the image URL will be the URL of the image that I want to use so I can use this image here haha uh, <laughs> sorry yeah even though I can do that but um, so um, the URL of the image of the first image that we're going to be using will be this uh, is inside the images folder uh, then the name of it is by.jpg remember this uh, image button that I had I want the width to be uh, width should be 500 and the height to be just 100 100 and the navigate URL when I click on the image where does it take me to you have to create uh, let me use our big old Google again google.com and the alternate text let's just put uh, by image and uh, the impression this is how many times you want it to show so I want it to display 50 times and the keyword I'm going to explain what the keyword does let's call it the by by let's just leave it as by so if you want to create another advertisement you have to copy this uh, this this the ad will show so so uh, now we have another image uh, I have the video here so the URL for this of the is going to be video dot jpg uh, same width same height uh, the navigator URL for this one will be uh, good old yahoo this one will be video image video image and um, impression let's leave it to the same thing and this one will be video there is the reason why we have the um, uh, what is it called if I save this XML file if I go back to the address it or select it then set the uh, advertisement file to the advert dot XML which is the only XML I have in my application if I run this page uh, let's see no error okay that's fine um, we'll, be only, we'll be able to see you see this is the banner advert if I click on it as you can see it's gonna go to if you look there it's gonna go to Yahoo so if I click on it it goes to Yahoo so well because I'm not really I'm not connected to the internet now but you can see that the Yahoo browser I'm not connected to the internet at the moment so uh, you see when we refresh the page look at what happened we get the next banner if you refresh it again we get next one so you can't really control when it displays but you definitely that they're going to 
rotate so you can have as much banner as you want here so every time you refresh it you get different images different images so um, the reason why you have keyword here is you can filter your uh, let me go back to the other the, yes you have something called keyword filter which means if say for example right because at the top now at the top we have a banner rotator if I had another banner rotator say below it say for example below the page then I can filter which I can use the keyword so that means if I have say for example I have four hearts I can set two of them to buy and two of them to video which means now if I set if I set both of this one to buy hold on a sec if I set both of this one to buy and I say keyword filter of this particular one if I set the keyword filter to buy so if I run the page I'll get both of the advertisement all the time so because the keyword that we're filtering you see is by so I, I can see both image at the same time but now if I set let me go back to the XML file if I set one to buy and one to video so now because I've filtered it because I've filtered this to only display the keyword buy I will not get the video image at the top anymore so you see I will only get the buy forever so that's why that's how the uh, key, key add rotator works thank you very much